Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer, and today we're gonna to be building a simple outdoor bench out of four two by sixes. Let's get started. Start it up. Now, this is actually a spinoff of the Leopold bench, and I actually just built a bench just like this out of two by eights. However, I got a lot of comments asking for the same design in two by sixes. So I've altered the, the design to build it out of two by sixes. Now for this project, you're gonna need four two by six by eights. You're gonna need some three inch exterior grade wood screws, and you're gonna need a circular saw and a speed square. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut 48 inch boards out of each one of these boards, and that will be for the seat and the back, and then we'll move on to the angled cuts for the legs. Now, if you have access to a miter saw, you're not gonna need the speed square, really. However, if you don't, using a speed square is an easy way to find miters and mark them. So in order to do that, you set the speed square on your point, your end point, and then you pivot it over to the, uh, to the angle here on the edge, which we are going to be cutting at 20 degrees first, which I know it's hard to see, but is right there. So I'm gonna line that up with the edge, and then I will mark this angle right there. So on the first two boards, we're gonna be using those as the long leg. I've already gone ahead and cut that 20 degree angle on one end, and we're gonna measure over from there 38 and a half inches, and then we'll make a mark and cut a 35 degree angle. We're gonna mark that the same way with the, um, with the speed square, we're going to set that point, that pivot point right on our end. And we're gonna come over here to 35 degrees, mark it, and then we're gonna cut it with a circular saw. All right, so we got the two long legs cut and out of the way. Now we're gonna move on to the two short legs. We're gonna start with the same process. However, the first cut is gonna be at 40 degrees, and then we're gonna measure from that point over 19 and 3 eighths of an inch, and then we're gonna come back and make a 45 degree cut. Now, I've got my off cut for my shorter leg, and I'm actually gonna be using this to make a small cut, and this is another piece that's gonna be used to help support the seat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this 45 degree angle here that I just cut. I'm gonna come over three and a half inches, and then I'm gonna make a 90 degree cut right there. Now, on the long legs, what I wanna do is I wanna create a taper on the back, and this is going to align the back of the bench for us. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna measure over an inch and a half from this point on the 20 degree angle, and then I'm going to measure down this from this point, 12 and three quarters of an inch. I'll then connect those with a straight edge, and then I'm gonna cut that with the circular saw. Now with this design, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. With the short leg, we've got a 40 degree end that's gonna to go towards the ground, and then a 45 degree end at the front of the seat. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little five degree um, slope towards the back of the seat. So what we're gonna do when we're aligning this is take a scrap piece of wood and that's gonna act as our ground or floor. And then we're going to align these nice and level. And I'm gonna align the back of this front two by six, so the back of this top two by six with the edge, the front edge of this longer leg. Then we're going to install this with four screws going through and into this other longer leg. And then I'm gonna come back with this 45 degree piece that we cut earlier. I'm gonna pre-drill it since it's such a small piece of wood and I'm gonna install it right there. Once I get done with that, I'm gonna flip everything over and mirror that for the other leg.
All right, so now it's time to attach the seat. Now we're gonna be using those 48 inch two by sixes that we cut earlier, and we're gonna line the front of this up with the front of that um, shorter leg. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be screwing this down with those three inch wood screws that we've got. However, on the front one, we're gonna to wanna to come in on more of an angle, that way we don't blow through the bottom of that short leg. Now for the back, I've gone ahead and flipped this thing on its side. That way I can hold that board in place and then screw from the top. We're going to align those 48 inch boards that we cut earlier flush with the back of that taper that we cut on the long leg. And then we're gonna put two three inch exterior grade wood screws in each one. The boards we use for the back are gonna be spaced about a half of an inch to match the seat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple and easy outdoor bench build. We've also got another build just like it made out of two by eights, which I think is a little sleeker. However, you've got a little bit more expense in lumber. I've also made a matching Adirondack chair that will complement this bench very nicely around your fire pit or wherever you're putting it outside. If you want the full plans for this build, make sure you click that link right there and it's gonna take you on over to the website. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that one right there. And until next time, be safe and happy building.